The cause of this protest is my governance. The cause of this protest is hunger in the land. The cause of this protest is corruption in the land. The cause of this protest is the fact that our leaders have let us down. The cause of this protest is that Nigerians are hungry and they are angry. We are hungry and we are angry. Our common resources have been wasted by those who put in authority. We, are, we, we were with them. We were with them in the past. We were with them. Ashwaju was a lead protester. Ashwaju was number one protester in this country. Maybe you don't know. When he said Emiloko, Emiloko is a language of protest. It's a language of give it to me. It's my tongue. It's a language of protest. So the number one protester should not be against protesters. And what we're saying is this. The courts have said something that we should be converged somewhere. But Nigeria is too big for Ojota or Ketu to contain us. We are peaceful and we remain peaceful. I need to join the protest to rescue this country because this country is drifting. We are losing it. And uh, it's high time we all come together and save, and save this country. We, we put some people there. We voted for them for, for, for better living. Have we seen that better living? That we are suffering. It's not, it's, not, it's not that we are exaggerating. You can go to market and see what I'm talking about. Are you getting me? Okay, they have approved 70,000 minimum wage. When that minimum wage was about 18,000 in 2015, a, a bag of rice was about 6,500 naira. Then you are paying 70,000 now. Then that bag of rice is about 85,000. What, what are we talking about? You see, things are very hard. People are really suffering. If you are living by your means, you will not survive in this country. People are cutting corners. Only anybody you see that is enjoying in this country is cutting corners. That's the fact of it. If you are, if you are living by your, by, by, by your salary, by your salary, you will not enjoy this country because things are very, very expensive. We have a court judgment on uh, court ruling, court order on subsistence service, which the barrister, barrister Deja Deyanju is leading them, is aware of. The subsistence service said that the order is that they should protest inside the stadium. And we requested that each group that we, that we protest has to come to the police and notify the police. No group has notified the police. We only came here to see some people here. And we said, for the fact you have not notified us and they want to pro uh, protest, follow the court order, which the Jade and the barrister is aware. The order said, protest inside the stadium. We are not stopping anybody from protesting, but look at how they are blocking the express road. And I said no, because we are their right stops, we are another man's own stops. Because as they are infringing into the right of way of people, it's not good. They are equally trapping on other people's rights on passage. And that's why I said no. They should enter the stadium where the court has given order that they should enter inside. They should carry their 1,000 pressmen and enter the stadium and protest. They can transmit it to 2,000 word press. I don't care. It's not me that gave the ruling. It's court order. So, what so if, 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 they want, if they want to breach the court order, they, will bre they are breaching the court order. It's not my order. It's not the order of the Inspector General of Police. It's not the order of anybody. It's the order of... Uh, a constituted authority of the of the court.